I'm just standing right here. I've been looking at the mirror. I'm like, nigga, you a stunner. What's up YouTube is your boy King Tenex we're back with another YouTube tutorial. It's been a while ever since we've done something like this, but we are back, especially for this channel. I've been focusing my energy on another new channel, which is a reaction music video channel. But now I decided no, let me go back to my people and just do some teaching. Uh, today I'm gonna do a uh, many OTs inspired retouch i'm only gonna use lightroom i'm not gonna focus on the photoshop part i already done tutorials that focus on the photoshop part but i'm just gonna edit this picture uh, to something like this because this is daniel otis many otis wife so i like how many otis edit his pictures this is amazing I, i've i've spent a lot of time uh, watching many otis since day one yeah, I've been inspired by him, how he takes pictures and how he retouches pictures. I've had a challenge with those kind of things, especially when it comes to retouching. Yesterday I took a picture for my client. This is the picture. Sort of like a product, beauty, hair, advert kind of picture. So the first thing usually when you do is always capture the picture proper don't depend on the camera if you suck uh, especially on your settings you'll also have a problem when it comes to editing you will do a lot of editing so make sure that your exposure is properly everything is proper exposed uh, if you don't know how to do that and if you are still new to photography there are more tutorials which are focused on that because so i've been helping a lot of photographers uh, getting them tutorials on which tutorials to follow and which ones are important where to start and where what is important and what to focus on so you can hit me up send me a text uh, you can dm me on instagram I'll, I'll i'll add you on my whatsapp so we can communicate take that opportunity that i'm giving to you so the first thing you do uh, especially this thing comes with how you actually take the picture you know as you can see this is how as it was shot I usually do my own white balance on my camera especially i always have a custom white balance uh, it depends what kind of a day you're in so, some people use daylight yes it was daylight but for me it wasn't gonna work it was a bit cloudy it was it was one of those confusing weathers so let's just go back to as short because i already done my own white balance using a gray card so the first thing i always do i always bring up the shadows and the blacks okay so let's start with the blacks i'm just gonna bring my blacks up to around 50 i don't know it depends let's just look at the image 70 is too much let's bring them down a bit okay let's just say 50 okay 51 and then i go to the shadows and then i bring up the shadows to around 50 also but this will depend on the picture you always watch what's happening here and uh, it also depends on how you capture the picture you know so i'm just gonna bring it up uh, 50 50 51 also uh, it will differ from how you captured your picture because i'm following my steps here and what i'm seeing on the screen and make sure your monitor is calibrated you know so the next thing i do after this i bring down the whites and the highlights you know and the best way to do this without being distracted use your histogram let me just change the color to black and white because i'm dealing with the exposure now so i'm just gonna bring down the white okay okay the white i can see i'm still struggling i'm trying to bring this one around here to the highlights and also bring the highlights a bit down let's see what's gonna happen as you can see now we're on the right right spot here because this is the skin this is the skin the skin skin tone or this is the skin exposure it was supposed it's supposed to be around here to show that it's properly exposed so now it's just in the middle of the highlights and the mid tones so I'm, I'm just gonna go to the exposure i'm just gonna leave the exposure here and just bring up the shadows here also the shadows here i'm just gonna bring down the contrast a bit uh, okay now my mid tones now my skin tones are on the mid tones of the histogram on top of here 
so i can say i'm happy with what's happening here let's just bring back as you can see now what's happening this is before and this is after okay from here now we are happy with the image let's just bring up the the haze up here uh, not too much just a bit you know you don't you don't want to play with the haze too much because it's gonna over saturate your image let's just bring it up to okay i'm just gonna bring it up to 13 and then from here i think i should go back to exposure you know and just take it out a bit because i'm i'm gonna bring down the the, the exposure using the, the the curves down here now we're gonna move to the curves the first thing i always do is find the right point if you don't know where to bring down and always make sure your monitor is calibrated mine is calibrated i always make uh, dots here here and here so the first thing is i always watch what's happening on the screen okay i think this is a better way just gonna bring it around here and then i'm gonna come here these are the mid-tones, just bring the mid-tones a bit up and also bring the highlights a bit up, something like this. But now I have to go back to the highlights and bring down the highlights to zero, something like this. As you can see, my image is oversaturated. So now I have to bring up, bring down the saturation a bit, minus 10. And also bring up the vi vibrance. I always use the vibrance, not the saturation, let me just put it to minus 20 just bring up the vibrance around here okay i'm almost there i'm almost there from here to here always should draw always should draw so from here i can say okay i'm done with few things here but there's a lot that has to be done i, I need to bring up the the contrast in order to make sure that the that the, the, the hair is a bit it's more dark here just gonna bring it down up like this to minus 14 okay okay i'm i'm happy with the image by far let's just go down now this is where i play around with the skin tones and all those things you know first thing you have to go to the hue the first part of the hue is where i adjust the skin tone the skin tone the skin tone you know now i can sense you can just click here just to zoom I can sense that my skin tone is too red, too much on the red side. So usually orange is on the skin tones, orange and red represents the skin tone. So usually I start with my orange, just bring it up a bit to match how the skin tone is actually going to be if I was looking at the person. So and then bring up the reds also to around 11 okay i'm happy with what i see here but also yellow yellow and green represents the greens here i'm trying to make my greens a bit darker you know a bit darker going to a bit washed up you know so i'm just gonna bring up the yellows let's just bring down the yellows as you can see you see sometimes you might prefer look like this but i prefer look like this just bring it here and also with the greens you can just go down like this give it a warm feeling but i always want the dramatic feelings which is oh, dramatic feeling which is this side then from here we go to the saturation saturation and there's too much saturation on the skin tone okay let's just bring it down a bit okay i think i like it here yeah? And then we go to yellow yellow it's the the greens here just gonna bring down the greens and uh, let's let's go to minus 70. okay i like i like where it's going let's also play around with the greens let's bring them down to minus 50 minus 50 minus 50 minus 56 okay i like 56 and then the aqua I'm just gonna bring down the aqua to nothing as you can see you see what just happened 
okay from here to here let's let's just give it around 30 okay 30 and then the blues these are the blues because the blues are affecting also here the, the especially if the, the the model is wearing something white the blues will also appear on the, the that fabric so i'm just gonna bring the blues down 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 but not too much just something like this then from here as you can see and then there there is people i'm just gonna bring down the people a bit a bit uh, okay minus 10 and then i'm gonna bring up the the magenta to plus 10 plus 10 okay plus 11 is okay as you can see before and then after from here we're just gonna go to the luminance 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 then from the luminance i'm just gonna bring down only the greens okay let's just bring down the green a bit no not too much don't overdo this just a bit a bit a bit something like this and then i think that's all because you can't just bring up the aqua here i think this is final but also the skin tone let me bring down to minus three something like this okay from here i like what i'm seeing and then we jump we go to detail from detail i always increase the luminance of the noise reduction let's just take it up to 20 i like around here especially if you don't want to do too much retouching on the skin this is before then this is after as you can see the, the skin becomes a bit softer then from here we jump and we go to calibration and my favorite part favorite spot calibration is a bit difficult here when it comes to calibration because this is where you actually calibrate your image actually this is where i should have started playing around with because now if i adjust there i have to go back up and start adjusting the other things especially on the colors and all those things but i already know what to do i've experienced a bit the first place i start i always start on the blue primary blue primary Okay, let's just bring out the hue to 45 minus 45 blues you see what's happening here and then we go to the primary green green primary sorry minus 16 and then the saturation minus 12 and then we go to the primary red red primary let's just add 12 plus 12 and then we go to the saturation of the red and just minus 13 this is nice before and after before and after okay from here we're almost done we're almost done just click here come to crop i usually do this this is my favorite part of the image because people you, usually you edit your images or your portraits but you always ignore the cropping because your composition is also important you know how your, your pictures look I, I i usually like this one which is called the is it the golden ratio yes the golden ratio so I'm just going to adjust a bit here. Always know where to crop. These are the knees. Never crop on the knees. It always looks red. So always, I'm, I'm just going to bring it up here. So this picture is going to be for Instagram. If you want to post your pictures on Instagram and have no trouble with it, you can just click on original and then go to 4x5, something like this. This is the supported in Instagram crop ratio or something like that i'm just gonna bring it up here always know where to crop and then from here just gonna don't leave too much space and don't leave little space 
okay something like this i'm just gonna press done wait 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 i'm just gonna tilt it a bit something like this and i'm just gonna click done and then from here my final move i'm just gonna go to i know i have to bring down the situation a bit the, the, the exposure a bit i'm just gonna go to effects and then bring bring up the vignette something like this vignetting something like this and then from here bring up the feather something like this and then from here just play around with the roundness and see what what is what it's giving me okay i prefer something like this midpoint okay this is good just bring down the the amount of vignette a bit this is nice and then we go up to exposure exposure something like this and we have to come back to the curves here and bring this down a bit something like that and from here let me just bring it down here something like this and then from here just gonna bring it up here to make it a bit softer and then we go to exposure let's bring it down yeah okay so guys thank you for watching this tutorial for more tutorials please leave requests below king denny x signing out yeah, yeah i'm gonna come to i lay it down yeah. might just give your ass a thumbs up because we are not alive yeah. you see where i stop you with the shit i'm